Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. See this line here I'm doing now is would look ugly there if you could see it, but you won't be able to see it when we're done. You'll see how that's going to be done shortly. All right, well, we've got the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips, the hair. Now we're going to make another little area over here to the side. This is kind of my secret to making avatars here. So don't tell anyone. I'm taking this area, and I'm going to uh, go to the fill and stroke panel and remove the border, or the, the line here. I'm going to lock it by going to Object Properties Lock close that out and now this is a lot just like the background and this is kind of going to be my canvas I'm going to copy and paste everything I've done so far over onto this blue area here it doesn't have to be blue it could be white but I just made it blue so you can see you can see white on top of this light blue better so now I'm deleting everything I've done so far over here to the right except for the line around the face you will never delete that until the very very end of the of the uh, design process so just get used to that being there now I'm uh, using the the dropper tool to get a color from the hair and I'm going to do the same thing for the face now uh, copied the face here and the reason I did that or duplicated it actually the reason I did that is for, because of those path functions I told you about with the hair I'm gonna make a uh, this is kinda gonna be like a little mask here that I'm making and this mask is gonna make it so that I can uh, get rid of some of that hair so what watch what I do here I'm duplicating the outline of the head then I'm doing an intersection so that all I have left is there. Now I'm going to copy or, and paste that. And the reason I keep the outline of the head there is so that I can place it very precisely onto the uh, canvas area over here to the left. I'm going to call this the canvas area for future reference so it's just easier to understand what I'm talking about. But I'm moving that over on top of there and I'm going to get it lined up just perfectly because if it's not lined up perfectly you'll see gaps but it's not hard to do with this technique now I'm going to color it a little different color so we can see it um, now we're going to do a difference so what that did is actually it cut a hole out of the hair area we can get rid of that Let's see what it did here it actually cut a hole out of the hair where the cheeks are going to stick through because the head at the top is underneath the hair so the head at the bottom cannot and we can get rid of that on the right side and move over just a little bit now we gotta put in some color for these eyebrows eyes and lips so I'm gonna select all this first and move it a little bit closer and be nice if you can get these two images as close together as possible because you're going to be doing a lot of looking back and forth as you create the avatar. I'll grab your uh, select tool and let's grab an eyebrow and try to get some color here. Uh, you can click and drag the dropper tool and it gets an array of colors from from a uh, source. You know, So if you've got a bunch of different colors that make it look like a different color you know you don't want to just click one pixel because that one pixel might be red when in fact the uh, purple the color you're going for is purple so now I'm gonna color the lips in here and our top lip is on top of the bottom lip not just on top as in top lip but on top as in the object is on top of the uh, bottom lips object 
I'm gonna use our dropper tool here to try to get the color of the outside of the eye. Don't just go and you know think that uh, I the eye, white of your eye is actually white and color it white because it's not gonna look right. It's actually not gonna be white. It's gonna be kind of a grayish color. So be sure and use your eyedropper tool to get that color. You know, I never, when I'm doing this type of operation where I'm tracing uh, an avatar, I don't ever actually try to choose my own colors. I always use the dropper tool for every color that I get so that everything is as realistic as possible and as close to the actual image as possible. I'm grabbing the uh, color for the eyelashes now. pupils you can just go ahead and actually going back on what I said earlier <laughs> you can actually just make the the pupils black they are going to be black uh, if you make the pupils any other color it's not going to look right I promise <clears throat> so there are a few I guess there are exceptions here and I did choose white for those because I want it to look like our eyes just sparkle I'm getting rid of all of these strokes now. See what I mean about these blue strokes? I do not want them in my image. Except for the one around the face, which I'm going to have to go back in and redo now. I want it there because when I line up the line around the face on the uh, model on the right, I want it to be able to line up perfectly, so I'm going to leave that there. And I'm not going to mess with it. Now I'm going to trace around some of these shadows on the nose. And there's something that you're going to have to get past if you're used to drawing with pencils or something. Pretty much any other medium that you're going to use. Uh, you you've got to get out of thinking in lines and yes we're using lines to trace around these objects but we're not thinking in lines we're thinking in objects and planes and different color areas on the face or whatever we're doing and uh, yes I say whatever we're doing because once you can do a face you can do anything a face is one of the hardest things for someone to try to uh, recreate because as humans, our eyes are trained to recognize any type of uh, imperfection in a face. So if, the, if there's any imperfection there, your, your eyes are naturally trained to pick that up. So I'm just going to trace around this other uh, shadow over here and you're going to have to kind of pick these shadows out and trace around them and I promise you I promise you this there's one promise I'll make and that is that you're not going to like it when you, after you trace around these objects and you're going to be you're not going to like your image and you're going to think it looks terrible and this is where uh, you have to have guts and you have to be willing to press on, press on because If it looks ugly to you and you just quit, then you're out of luck. You'll never, you'll never see it to its full potential. So you're, you're gonna have to learn to try to uh, just push forward with these designs that you're gonna do and uh, see them through. Don't give up. 